got done. I just got done doing a video where I got back from the gun show, and I was at a gas station. Uh, well, I did it, and I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't refill my truck. But I didn't buy any fuel. I had. Uh, I keep two gallons. I keep two five gallon uh, tanks in the back of my truck, and I forgot. I just posed a question about how. Um, how do you, um, do you guys have any idea as to how you would refuel your vehicles? Um, if you have any vehicles that use uh, liquid petroleum based fuels, um, should should things go south? Um, I'd say that maybe a benefit that if you have a diesel truck or any diesel vehicle that could handle it, you could potentially run your vehicle off of used motor oil. Biodiesel, vegetable oil, it probably have to do some modifications, or maybe or maybe none at all. I know you have to filter a lot, you know. Uh, I even read a long time ago in a, in a science book that there's a way you can refine plastic back into crude oil. Um, the, the process. Now, there's a video. I'm gonna see. I'll try to include a link in the description box. But there's a there's so there's someone actually in a. In Australia, that has done it, where they you basically you, you would you would cook plastic the same way you would cook for crude oil. In the book, it said you would uh, you would heat pla you heat straight up plastic on a bed of sand at 852 degrees. And I remember this back back before high school. Uh, and then you were able to refine back into crude oil. I'm not sure that not sure what heating up on the sand does. It's, but it specifically said that you heat up on a band of you, know, you, you heat the plastic on a bed of sand at, at 852 degrees and will convert it back into uh, crude oil. Also, with the video I included in the, in the description box, it, uh, it showed that you're actually able to crack plastic basically down, basically down to its smallest molecule, to where it's a vapor, and it goes to a condensing coil. And then there's you have it condenses back into a liquid, to, into liquid uh, crude oil, and there's a gas that gets burned off, um, that gets burned off um, afterwards. So at least if you have a, if there's a diesel engine, there is that method of uh, powering your vehicles. But for those of you who have gasoline out there, do you have any ideas how you would uh, how you would um, keep your vehicles going? I know you can do wood gas, or even pro, I've even seen propane powered small engines. Where there are, either, there are even some generators that have, that could be dual fuel, where you have liquid liquid petroleum based fuel, and you have uh, liquid petroleum gas, which would propane, which would be propane. But I'd be interested to see um, see what you guys uh, have to say about that. Uh, how would you power any uh, any uh, petroleum based engines? Well, please leave your comments in the comment section. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. If you uh, like this video, check out please check out my older ones if you're new to the channel. If you have any gripes or complaints, please send me a PM. I'll see if I can address them. But uh, that's my video, refueling during SHTF. I'm Edward Jones, and thanks for watching.